Hi everyone, Mr. Cookit here, aka Zach Breeding, and today we're going to talk about grilling inside the home. It's summertime, but not everybody has a nice big yard or a space in which to have a grill and grill outside. But grilled meat is so delicious! So how do you do it? Buy a grill pan. Put it on top of your stove. You can have the same sort of flavor as grilled meat inside the home. Meanwhile, the grill pan is already heated over medium-high heat for about five minutes to make sure it's really, really, really hot. Go ahead and spray your pan. And then go ahead and immediately throw your meat on. Otherwise, the oil is just going to burn right away. That's the sound you want. That means it's ready to go. Now, because my memory is shot, I go ahead and like to spray the other side now. So don't forget. You let this ride until white rises up halfway along the meat. That way you know that that side is done. All right, so our chicken is about done on this side. It looks like this on the, on the other side. I go ahead and flip it the other way to have a little X and allow the chicken to cook the rest of the way, more white, the rest of the way up. You want to make sure that you're waiting for the chicken to be cooked upward before you, before you flip it over, so otherwise the meat will stick to the bottom of the grill pan and it will tear off chunks of meat, and you don't want that. That is not sexy. The white has risen up mostly half of the way on this piece of chicken, and juice has started to collect on the top of the piece of meat. That means it's ready to go. Go ahead and lift it. There's your X. Flip it over. To emulate a real grill from inside the home, you can utilize a pot pan lid to go right over top to allow it to smoke while it's searing on the grill pan. At this point, the chicken looks done, but it's not. Remember, it's chicken. It's thick and it's easy to sear on the outside and very hard to cook on the inside when you're searing. So lift it again. Check it, there are your lines. Flip it over. Relit it to allow it to cook on the inside more, and let it ride some more. Okay, so it's been about 12 minutes all together. The lid is still on. I turned the heat down just a little bit, and we're going to take a thermometer and check it. In the food safety video, you can learn more about why I'm using a thermometer. You want to check the thick part of the meat. There's your sear. So the temp is great. It's 165, and you can let it rest on the grill pan or on a plate for about five to eight minutes, and it's ready to go. This is easy grilling inside the house. I hope this information helps. You can find more recipes and tips on www.thesage.org. Information listed below and following this, and peace out.